Well, this figure is a kite. We can see that. We've got two pairs of adjacent congruent sides right here. And we're given two of the interior angles we're looking for a measure of angle G. Well, this would be straightforward, a lot of fun. Remember, the all four angles must add up to 360. After all, it is a quadrilateral. Then, let's visualize this. Split this figure into two triangles. And you can see by side, 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 the two triangles are congruent. Well, that's of course that's true because we know that these two angles are congruent. Two of the angles of a kite are always congruent. Then, let's just do a little algebra there. Let's take the 140 known degrees, take them away from 360, and that means we've got 220 to be spread between these two angles, and they're spread evenly, so I guess it's going to be 110 each. Easy. Well, a slight variation from the previous exercise. We have a kite, and you see the congruent sides there, the other pair here. Remember, these angles, H and F, are going to be the congruent angles. So, the 110 over there, too. Now, if I add them all up, I've got 280, 110, 110, 60. Take that away from 360 because it's quadrilateral. I'm left with 80. Well, let's see if we can solve for the sides of this kite. And we know, well, we have a hint here, use theorem 818, and that tells us that these diagonals are perpendicular, right angle right there. And, of course, you can see we've got these right triangles. Ah. And two of these right triangles are congruent. I see this, pen, this one and this one. And I guess the other two, these two are the same. So let's solve for the missing sides. First off, I have a 45, 45, 90 here. 3, 3, 3 radical 2. So there we go with our 3 radical 2s. This one is going to take the Pythagorean theorem. So let's um, get to it and add up those squares. So S is radical 34. I just made up that variable for you. We've got radical 34 and radical 34. So those are the sides in simplified radical form. Well, let's see if we can find the sides of this kite. I know by theorem 818 that all well, these diagonals are perpendicular. And I could just do this. Look at these as right triangles then. So we'll solve for the green and the purple one because we can see the reflections are on the other side there. So, the green one. I'm going to use the reduced triangle principle. 4 and 6. I could simplify that to 2 and 3. Just like that. Imagine. Well, 3 squared, 9, plus 2 squared, 4. That's 13. This is radical 13. Well, if, I, if this is half the size, then I'm going to multiply back by 2 to get the missing component there. So, or in other words, if this is 1 radical 13, this is 2 radical 13. And if that's 2 radical 13, so is this. So you're getting used to this. Let's work on the purple triangle, or magenta. I can see I, right there it simplifies to 1, 2, with a factor of 6. Well, if that's the case, I know 1, 2, radical 5. 4 plus 1, 5. This hypotenuse is radical 5, and I'll have to multiply back by that factor of 6, and that's going to be 6 radical 5, or 1 radical 5 here, 6 radical 5's here, and so is this side. Well, here's another exercise solving for the sides of a kite, and we can see the two right triangles there, and of course their reflections. So, um, let's practice with simplified radical form. And we know, um, well, there's a quick way to do this. 10 and 19 for the blue triangle. These two numbers are relatively prime. 10 is, of course, composite, but the two together have no common factors other than 1. So, um, whole number factors, that is. 
So there you go. Pythagorean theorem. I know this one. Radical 461. And over here is a different story in the tan. I've got a factor of 5. So I'm going to use that reduced triangle principle. Remember that? Oh, that's so much fun. So look at that. 1 squared and 2 squared. Well, 4 plus 1 is 5. So it looks like I'm going to have radical 5 for this side using similar triangles, of course. That's the whole idea of this simplified or reduced triangle principle. If this one is radical 5, this is 5 radical 5. And, of course, the other sides match as well.